what's good everybody and welcome back to my channel fg2g here and today we are doing a pizza night idea recap and in essence we're going to just rewind it to the pizza pies that i've made on this channel and what's a pizza night a pizza party a, a pizza extravaganza without some appetizers it's still a, a pizza party a pizza night a pizza extravaganza but you know we like to be extra sometimes we like bread with our bread so why not like a bread stick, a mozzarella stick, some wings? Mm -hmm. Oh my. So let's do it. All right, y'all. So the first thing is the pesto and cheese pastry. Bread stick, pastry. It's bread. Okay. So I've got that puff pastry because we want to make this as easy as possible. You know, just all rolling cut. Nothing to it. I mean, a little slight work, slight work. Then you be as creative as you want to be with the folds and stuff. Yeah, because sometimes even when you fold it and it looks crazy at first, it, it bakes up nice. So don't worry about that. And as you can see, these only took about like 15 minutes. So nothing crazy. <clears throat> golden, golden brown. And y'all, these were so good. I used, how do you say, it? Gruyere cheese. I think it was like hickory smoked. Ooh, we. And the fact that it doesn't like get melty per se, but it gets soft. Mmm delicious let's see here all right so our seasoned fried mozzarella sticks huh listen the cheese was on sale like two for something so i got some mozzarella and thought i would you know give this a whirl and and the fish fry made a debut because i thought you know that's the season factor of it all why not i don't know you don't knock it till you try it and it was good anyways so as you can see i'm doing a little breading breading Hoping for the best, you do. Know. A cheese pull, and there is the best. Boom, I don't know if it's the best, but it was good. It was giving cheese pull for days. Yes, and it was delicious. All right, let's move on to those wings, shall we? We shall. All right, y'all, so easy Korean fried chicken. Let's get all the way into it. Now listen, I was using um, like the, the flats and the drum ets or whatever you call them. You use whatever you want to. That's just easiest for me. I haven't mastered the whole frying whole pieces of chicken, like the bigger pieces. I, I ain't mastered that yet. So we stick with the small stuff until we learn better. All right. Anyways, fry mix. This is top tier right here. Now, I mean, there might be a whole lot of other good choices, but this is the one I use, and it's scrumptious. It, it gives. Crispy. Makes me feel like I'm doing something in the kitchen. Look at it. Looking all golden, delicious, and crunchy. Now, of course, that gochujang. You know what I'm saying? It had to make a debut, because at this point, this is the only sauce I know for Korean fried chicken. Mm -hmm. It's the only sauce I need. Well, I say that now, but I don't know. I got to explore more sauces. But anyway, this was really, really good. So, you know, you want a breadstick, mozzarella stick. Now you got wings, because why not? All right, let's move on to the pizzas of it all. All right, let's go. Motown Philly back again. Where the lollies go away. All right, anyways, first is Philly cheesesteak, or like my version of it, just saying. That's what we're going for. Push play. All right. Will do. All right. So we are putting our beef in a pan, a little onion, a little pepper. And listen, I was going for the cheese whiz factor of it all, but I'm using cheese wow and some mozzarella. That cheese wow is great value, I think. Uh, it's good. I don't, I don't usually like to, well, I say usually. I don't like uh, everybody's uh, cheese in a can, but that one's good to me anyways. This turned out really, really scrumptious. Put a little extra cheese wow or cheese whiz on it. Yo, scrumptious. All right, y'all. So next up is our cheeseburger pizza. And it's going to be stuffed crust or semi-stuffed crust. Either way, the cheese going to be on the pizza. So you're not going to lose. All right, cheeseburger pizza. Let's go. Yes, ma'am. Looking good. How you doing? Yes. Now, listen, you can totally just um, do your ground beef in the, the skillet, however you want to do it. I'm going like, you know how you 
do chopped cheese and you do, you know, chop it up after you cook it. That's what we're going for. Look at that dog, looking precious, looking like he looking. That ain't got nothing to do with this. Stuffed crust, okay. Focus. Yeah, like I said, stuff your crust better than what I did. Either way, the cheese gonna be on the pizza, so you gonna, you gonna eat it. Little sesame seeds, you know, burger. Listen, put up whatever you like on your cheeseburger, put that on there. Cause it's it's gonna give in the pickles, have a nice little tang, a little some something to it. I like it. And the mustard as well. Mm-hmm. -mm. Bubble and brown sugar. Hey. Yo, that was that was good. All right, y'all, so next up we have a barbecue jerk chicken pizza. So let's do that. So of course you're gonna need your chicken. Now I'm using various spices, trying to get as close to like a jerk seasoning as I can get with what I what I have at my disposal. But you can totally get like a, like a jerk seasoning packet to make it a little easier. Got your chicken done. Put whatever veggies you want to on there. Whatever you think that would go good with this, throw it on there, have some fun. And have a ginger beer while you're at it, if, if you like that sort of thing. Now, for those of you who are adventurous and you know, maybe, you know, the Philly cheese steak, that ain't adventurous enough. You know, barbecue jerk chicken, it's not adventurous enough. But you know what I'm saying? You don't wanna go too far, do nothing crazy, still wanna make some sense, why not? chicken tikka masala let's do that let's do it you who, you can't go wrong i mean i guess you could i don't know but this was good so as you can see you know season that chicken up season it up Now, of course, use whatever um, dough that you want to use, whether you want to make it yourself or a mix, whatever you like. This was on sale, I think. But yeah, so as you can see, instead of using tomato sauce, you know, regular uh, pizza sauce, I'm using tikka masala sauce. Get your chicken thighs chopped up, some cheese on there, a little extra cheese, bake it up, and yeah. And of course, you can't forget, you know, a little garnish garnish, you know, by way of a little, what did I put on there? Cilantro? Yeah. That was delicious, y'all. If, if you like tikka masala, yeah, this is giving. It's very much so giving. Ain't it cute? I thought so. So next up is our pepper jack pesto chicken. You know what I'm saying? We putting all the names in the title, cause why not? Okay. All right, let's do that. Now, a lot of these items I got from Dollar Tree because, you know, I just enjoy shopping there sometimes, seeing what I can make. Now, not all of the ingredients are from there. And of course, use what you got. But that pesto, it takes stuff uh, uh, somewhere. It flavor. Now, you know, with this chicken, it was, uh, what is it, chicken breast. I have seen the dark meat version of uh, the canned chicken at Dollar Tree, I'm pretty sure. And I haven't had that, but um, that might have been better, but they didn't have that at the time. Thin crust coming through. All in all, this was good. It was like a semi-budget friendly pizza and it was good. It's not my favorite, but it's a nice option. All right, y'all, so next up is the spice lentil pizza. So where are all my plant-based foodies at? Hey, how you doing? Yeah, so it doesn't have to be like a sausage or a pepperoni or even like the plant-based version of those. It can just be some beans. Now I was going for like a sausage crumble look and there's nothing wrong with that. And this is definitely, at least for me, it was like, uh, like trust the process because it took me several minutes to get the, uh, 
the lentils to a nice chunky um chunky crumble yeah but it worked it worked and of course as you can see i had that jerk seasoning packet mm. yes yummy 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 and uh making my own little pizza sauce improvise use what you got Thin crust, anybody? Cheese it up. Yeah, this was really, really good. You get your protein in, and um, it had a nice texture. Of course, it's not like meat, meat, or anything like that, but it was really, really good. Put a little green onion on top, or whatever you like. Scrumptious. Next up, what about a little meaty supreme, huh? Yeah. But this is plant-based, okay? Now that we know how to make seitan, why don't we do that? You know, arts and crafts, anyone? Because, yeah, we we definitely have an arts and crafts or, I don't know, playing with our food. But it works. Now, of course, season this up however you want to. I was going more for like an Italian sausage type of thing. You want to do whatever you want to do, whether it's Italian sausage. Um, I don't know. If you want to make pepperoni out of it, do your thing. It's giving crumbles. It is, it's giving sausage crumbles, kind of. No, but for real, this was good. Get your little toppings on there, little pizza sauce, pizza sauce, sprinkle, sprinkle. You know you adulty when you got slices of uh, of tomato on the pizza. That's that's giving adulty. But yeah, all in all, this pizza was really really good. And in the video, I was saying you know I would cook the meat just a little bit less, maybe about ten minutes less than what I did. But um, I gave like a little remedy in there as well. You know, so all in all, this was good. Meaty Supreme. So this last one is for the people who don't really want to make nothing, but they want to have something, you know, but do like the minimum. And ain't nothing wrong with that because sometimes you just don't feel like doing all that. And so we are going to be doing the New York City street food pizza patty, but like amp it up a little bit. You know, let's do that. Now I'm just trying to do a little melty melty on the cheese, that's all. Pop that bad boy in the microwave, something slight. Open it up, put whatever toppings you like. As you can see, I've got avocado and some onion and that cheese. And this was really good. It's a good way to amp up, you know, an already good pizza patty, all right? All right, y'all, so that concludes our little pizza night idea, party shindig, appetizer, pizza, oh my. Now, if you want dessert, I got dessert options on my channel, kind of a little bit. You know, go explore the channel. If you would like, go ahead and subscribe. And yeah, have some fun in the kitchen. Be creative, all right? Peace.